Okay, so second video, March 30th, 2024. You know what? This stuff here was when Shimei was alive and Sierra and Andre was home. Okay, right? Sierra, Andre's mother. I told Andre, this is from your mom, right? Auntie Shimei. This is what I mean. They don't care, people. Look at this. They're throwing out, so now I have to bring it up. Right? And Right? Well, everything is starting to pile up. You can see what's happening here. But before this started to happen, my son asked um, Andre to move everything so he could fix this hole on the porch. So anyway, Andre did. My son was supposed to fix it like a day or two later and then I could put everything back. That's the way Andre left it. Now... This is dangerous because, right, the only thing, right, it's wood rot. So we were going to take this off. My son was going to take off this one. And we're going to put in one big piece of plywood here, right? And so Andre moved everything. This Andre, <laughs> right? And I, I'm like, oh. So I'm waiting for my son to do this so I can, you know, put some of it back anyway but that's not I asked him when you gonna do uh, uh, I'm busy like you mom I'm busy you know I said so what you're not gonna do it's been two weeks people two fucking weeks okay going on not quite two weeks almost two fucking weeks okay as they're throwing out my shit including stuff that is Andre's or Andre might want or Andre's old enough to know use some of it but because I can't go downstairs without conflict and it's been like that for a long time and it's just getting worse I, I can't you know access it so now that I you know they're just throwing it out you're throwing out Andre's mother's and Auntie Shimei's wrapping paper when you were a little boy yeah okay yeah and then he told me he's gonna come help me with this yard yeah all right they don't help me with nothing, people. All they do is fucking add more shit, more problems, create more fucking work. The rain will come. It will look at this. It will start fucking leaking. It's already leaking. So these are nice and clean. They had beautiful books in them. They're all fucking gone. Don't ask me where they are, right? This will just get ruined as everything fucking gets ruined. I'm just saying. So since I'm out here, I can't ask my son to do it. It's been like that for two, almost two weeks, waiting so I can put some of this stuff back, not all of it, like this table, right? I want to bring out a fish tank because I want to start seeds in the house in the little grow room. So I said to Andre, I'm going to bring out the fish tank, but it's like we have Andre. I said, Andre, I think you know Nana and you, I, together, I'm not strong enough to lift up this fucking thing, people. So what, maybe I should just get a board and throw it on top. There's an idea. I don't have to fucking screw, I could screw it in. I can fucking, I have to do it for myself. Like, I've always had to do everything in this fucking house by myself, right? And this is the way it's going to go down when it comes with them throwing out my shit, at least with the stuff that I fucking find. If I can't bring it up here, let it get all ruined before I get a chance to wash it and find another place for it, quote unquote, upstairs, as I'm thinking about going to a fucking shelter here, people, with Andre and Amari, and I won't go back fucking home until that bastard with that stupid bitch are gone. If Rhea can go to the fucking woman shelter, from shelter to shelter, with her three kids, because of uh, no affordable housing, and I'm being run out of my house, treated like, I don't know what people. Like, this is bullshit. If I don't want it, like that picture, with that, you could have been a, it could have been an Indian woman, it could have been an African woman, it could have been a freaking Pakistani kind of woman, right? Like a, like a, like a Muslim of some kind of woman with dark skin, right? And I have no other place for it, but I was saving it. So that maybe when I move, when I move, I can hang it back up on my fucking wall. Before I let my son trash it, 
I put it on the road and let somebody else have it and be happy that they have it. So as they're throwing out my shit and I find it and if I can't rescue it, I'm going to put it out on a road where somebody has a chance to take it home. If they're throwing it out and I can't see it, well, when I get down there and I go through my shit, I'll be able to figure it out. Right? If they're rolling off with it and giving it to their fucking friends or being charitable with whoever they want to be fucking charitable with, well, when I get down there, I'll figure it out. And when it fucking hits the fucking fan, I will charge them with theft and vandalism. And I will have the fucking video proof to prove it. And then, if it gets real funky, I will. I'll go to a fucking shelter until they are removed from this house. And I'll still pay my rent! Okay. I am going to try and do a temporary little fix here. You see what's happening here. They're making it so my life is getting trashier and trashier so that they can say I'm trash. But if you notice, this is what they're creating, right? They did this to me before, right? I'm still cleaning up stuff from what they did before. Yeah. I can show you, as a matter of fact, what I got in my house that happened fucking last time this happened. Anyway. So I'm gonna measure this. A leaky boat is better than no boat. I'll be running around the yard looking for a piece of wood. And I may I may need to use my skill saw. Not today though. And I have to do repairs in the X Club, to which there's baseboards out there that my son threw out. I said, why are you doing that? Do you know how expensive baseboards are? And if you're not going to use them for baseboards, you can use them for something else, which would be perfect for what I need up here to keep the raccoons out, the cats out, and the fucking rats out. Just saying. Right? Go into my videos. There was a raccoon in there. Matilda had her babies in there one year, remember? Okay, so we are looking at about 26 and a half inches, 26 and three quarters. And if I can, the length of this, which is my sewing thing. And then I'm going to lay down a piece of wood here. These cardboard boxes came from Canadian Superstore. I'm just going to make it put them in the compost over there, so I'll put them over the edge. That's another day. Alright, i got a little boy here for Kyrie. I did have it in the living room, but, you know, I don't have a lot of space, so I'm going to put it out here for him somewhere, but that, that was Andre's when Andre's was little. Right. So I tried to throw it out too. What do you want? And? Okay, but I'm finding my stuff in the garbage can. You sew. Mm -hmm. You're throwing out things that you could actually use. And if not that, we could have put that with a dressmaking form and made more money because I got dressmaking forms. I saw. I, yeah, I, I saw there was one up in the, in the No, I have dressmaking forms, $400 dressmaking forms. Yeah, I, remember I used to run three at a time and then still have. But you're throwing out a hem, a hem thing. It was either you or Marcane. You did not do that all downstairs by no. yourself. Oh, that, oh, the thing with, it was broken. No. The, was, the rubber was cracked. Well, you can fix it. Well, not, not in my experience. But I, was I, it yours to throw out? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So. I, I, yeah. And that's why I wanted to come up and talk with you. Cause I, okay, I, and? I, I understand why you're angry. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of put face. And what do you want to say? I wanted to say 
I understand why you're angry because it's not okay. great when someone comes in and wants your stuff and all that sort of thing. Okay. I just wanted to see if you shared where I was coming from. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, I, I don't know. Like, where are you coming from? Well, you know, Mark and I have been living down there for quite a while. And, you know, the past weeks and weeks and months and months. we talked and I, I know you keep saying you're going to come down and you're going to move things around and just... So you're putting it on me? After a while, it's my fault that nothing got moved even though you didn't want me down there. After okay. A while, I got a bit uh huh. You didn't do all that by yourself, Marina. I moved it all out. No, you yesterday. did not. That's way too much fucking shit. I, I moved it all. I'm not. I'm not lying. So what? Are, is Marcain wasn't here when you did it? I, I, I you went really behind did his it back. Yesterday. You you did it behind his back. Oh, he's out of service. Pardon me. Well, he's out of service. I couldn't text him. Okay, so he doesn't know. Well, I told him, well, when, I, when he called, I said I'd rearrange the living room. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that he, I mean, there's no way he could know exactly how, because he wasn't here. Well, I don't know. You were quite the superhuman when you did that. That's a lot of fucking work. Yeah, but I, I don't, it's not. You told me you don't like to lift heavy things. Well. Never mind move heavy furniture. I don't know that I've ever said that. Point is, you threw out my shit. Well, the, this I don't even go on your so that table that you sew on yeah. is an antique and it yeah. belongs to me and I don't touch not one fucking pin that's, on that thing that's why I Marina here and say, I, <laughs> whatever whatever you don't want to take responsibility I, I'm recording this okay? okay because I got I got other shit I have to do fix the report okay. so I can put this away before it gets ruined by the rain okay. where's my books uh, which ones? all of them there's a whole lot missing. How many bins? One, two, three, four, five. And that's I what I can you, see. I thought you wanted to get rid of those. So what did, no, you didn't thought. You didn't thought. Did Mark, what did you do with them? Mark Hanks, well, we, again, it's same with the corner unit. We tried to sell them and no one So you just them. packed up my boxes so and, and my books and gave them away. Well, that's how fucking rude you are. Please go away from me. I'm thinking about going to a fucking shelter and getting your ass evicted out of here. Okay, no, don't, don't tell me shh. I might. You, you want to take it to the level where I have to call the fucking police to control you guys' maniac bullshit crap? Stop threatening Go me. away! Please. Judy, I came up here to talk to you and try to smooth things over. Oh, she wants to smooth things over, people. What the fuck is she antagonizing me here for? Like, seriously, go away. I'm busy. I gotta fix my fucking porch because my son is too busy going around trashing my shit with you. Go away. Leave me alone. You throw my shit out, I'm calling the fucking, I'm recording this shit, for every time I find something, it's just documented that you keep fucking vandalizing my shit, making your stupid little threats on me with your I, stupid shit, you. whatever, you just throw my shit out, go away, and you're not allowed to talk to Andre, go away, you're an ungrateful human being, a poor role model, you're a poor fucking role model, get out of here. Like seriously, go cry to your fucking toy boy so that you can manipulate him to come and attack me. Oh, shut up. He's my son. He shut up. He came from my vagina. Whatever. You just treat him like a toy boy. Excuse me. Don't talk to me. You're an ungrateful human being. Your parents have nothing to be, of, nothing to be proud of. Make your coffee or something? This is why I say we're gonna go to a fucking shelter because they're gonna antagonize it and make the house blow up. In terms of the anger, she got tired of waiting. Whatever. Shut up. She's weird. She's fucking weird. I have to fix that porch so I can do something here. I have to get ready for the next wave of my shit being tossed out. With my raging sun ready to explode. Because I wouldn't talk to her nicely. Whatever. I don't touch not one fucking single pin on that fucking table that she sews on, which belongs to me. That table fucking belongs to me, people.
She justified throwing this thing out. Why? Because the little bobby is broken? Yeah, whatever. It's not yours to fucking throw out. Maybe somebody would want it just as an antique, huh? Fuck off. This is why I'm talking about going to shelter. Yeah. She purposely came up to antagonize. Trying to say, oh, it's your fault that I did it. I, I waited for Mark Kane to go and I did it behind his back. He doesn't even know yet because he's out of commission because he's out camping. He doesn't know what's going on. I did it all by myself. And because you said you were going to do this, you said you were going to do it. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't. So finally, fuck you. I just went off and did it for myself. Yeah, okay. Go away. Like, seriously, go the fuck away. Go back home to your rotten, stinking parents. And then she wants to protect Mark Cain because I called her out on her treating him like her fucking toy boy. Yeah, okay. With the rest of your little toy boy male friends enraging my son, not realizing that he's fucking jealous because you keep throwing his fu your fucking male friends up in his fucking face. And he doesn't even have one female fucking friend to throw up in your fucking nasty, stinking, rotten, ugly face. Like, fuck you, bitch. Like, seriously, fuck you. I'm going to go look for my wood. I need to focus on this porch and get a handle on it for the next fucking wave here. Okay. Before things get rained on and... If you want me to nail it, then I can nail it. Um, it would be better to screw it. A screw goes deeper, holds it tighter, and it it doesn't yeah, nail... Like the, yes, you will. I got lots of screws. Uh, like, uh, not the, like, the drill kinds. No, you can do by hand. And it's not going to be that hard. And I might have to cut wood yet. I might not find one that I can fit. I know what I want. I'm hoping to find one. If I think I can get the measurements, what was it, 26 and a half or something, 26 and three quarters. If I can find the measurements with, the, with it basically long enough, that will be good enough. And then you only need four screw, screws to start, and then you could add in a few more later. And then when the weather warms up, I'll show you how to caulk it with a caulking gun and some, some, some you know, Silicone. I want to get that table out. Can you maybe get your shoes on and get that table? Just can you just push everything off that that long nut table, that that you know bench. One. Yeah, yeah. Cause I want to put the fish tank on it. Cause we're gonna do the bug Bring farm. Oh, just make it so I can get it. So that after I get the wood, I'm hoping to find the wood. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that I can find the wood that I need. And if I can't, then we'll just put it there and we'll move the fish tank out so we can start some seeds. Okay. Ah, and then we'll work on bringing out the playhouse and the kids can play with the playhouse and they'll have the bug farm through spring, summer, and fall. That can all be out in the porch. And we'll fix the X Club and make it nice. Okay. okay? That's what we're going to do. That, assuming that we're here, that is. Right? All right. Okay. Just saying. I'm not, I'm not kidding here, people. Okay, so make it so I can pull that table. Okay, I'm going to just get... I'm gonna, no, it's okay, I have to go look for this wood anyway. Where did I put that measuring tape? Right here. This one? Yeah. Not really measuring tape, but... I guess she didn't care about the wings, right, for Leia May, eh? Could have made a nice little Halloween costume for Leia May. I have wings. Wings that I've had since Tisha, Tisha had a little... He, that, you know how old those freaking wings are? Uh, you know, something that may might want to use that for a costume. Well, yeah, no, I made a little... She can make an angel. I made a, I made a freaking costume for Tisha when Tisha was little girl, people. She can make an angel out of those Yeah, wings. she can make... We'll make we'll make a little costume for Elena May and make her an angel with the wings. And she's a bitch downstairs throwing it out. Yeah, and then trying to say that my son's dumb to the fact. Go away. Leave me alone. I don't Not, just know what she was gonna say to me. It doesn't matter what she's gonna say to you. I don't want you yeah, talking I to her. I like Not at this point. There's too much conflict. You're not obligated to talk to her. Yeah, but she causes too much trouble yeah, in the house. She me, she like... Oh, I'm sorry? Yeah. Yeah, she's trying to butter up. She's trying to get her and Andre to side with her now. 
just like they put up three pictures of Tisha on their fridge. You know what? I rescued those pictures from because the last time they threw them fucking outside and they left them outside and I brought them back inside and I guess they decided to keep three this time put them on their fucking fridge because Andre seen it and what did they do with the rest throw them out that would be two fucking times they threw out Tisha's pictures except they need Tisha to side with her with them with what they're doing right they right no yeah okay whatever right who watches Tisha's kids we do Every, no, three times a week. Two to three times a week. Sometimes we get a, a week break. Not sometimes. Most of the time. I'm trying to calm down. I was minding my own business. There's other things I should be doing, but I can't. I have to take care of this first, because if I don't, it's just a matter of time before it becomes a whole lot of washing. If I want to keep it, she gave away my books, people. Whatever books she wants, school books, cookbooks, fucking, she probably gave away, uh, this is what I mean, I don't believe she did this by herself, it's impossible. That was too much fucking work to do in one day. Um, Bernstein bears, from when my kids were young, a whole set, she fucking, I bet you they're gone. She went into that cupboard where that food was, probably took out beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fucking cookbooks from there. Yeah. That's theft. A lot of school books. Like, fuck you, bitch. And if they think with their drama they're going to get the kids taken away from me so that they can take over the fucking house, well, if it comes to that, I will go to a woman's shelter by myself and I will fight for fucking justice here and I will get my son and that bitch fucking evicted from this house before I'd ever come back. Because the only way I'm coming back is with my grandkids. Yep. 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 I should not have to think about these thoughts. Andre has been on pins and needles for fucking months here because of this bullshit going on. Obviously it's escalating. I'm not supposed to react to it. Okay. I don't take not one fucking sewing needle off of my table that she sews on. Not one. I don't look around to be snoopy whether I could see well or not. It's not my character to go in there and poke around in other people's shit. Never mind. Throw it out. Give it away. Sell it. Whatever. Break it. I have to go look for a piece of wood. Okay. I need a piece of wood that's about 26 and 3 quarters inches wide. This one looks like it's too wide. I don't have that eagle eye like I used to. I can't really do anything on that porch until I can feel comfortable walking across it. Right. That's why it's sitting there, but it's been raining. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, this is my 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 Bissell. I, he wanted to clean something. He wanted to clean something. I gave him a brand new Bissell that a little steam cleaner I never even got to use. And they're just throwing my shit. This is my Bissell fucking shit here. Like what the hell? You use my steam cleaner. Oh wait, look at this, people. Oh my God, I can't believe this. First one I looked at, 26 and a half inches long. This is perfect, and it's like wide. And this is almost as long as I need it. 
see god works with me he really does i know he does you know you can't look for whatever like i can oh my lord oh i'm so happy you don't even know oh god i'm not strong enough to do it let's see this will fit there we go oh it's heavy though oh it might be too well you want it heavy though right it's not even real wood this is just presto crap time that's the thing I have to bring in my abyssal solution I can't afford to go off and buy more maybe they threw out my brand new abyssal steam cleaner who fucking knows they hid it from me so I can't use it <laughs> oh my word I don't think this is this is not I'm gonna look around for something else look this is a, like a presto wood and it's already starting to get kind of warpy if I have no other choice, I'll come back. That was the first thing that I seen, though. Like this. Andre needs to bring this up. Throw it over the fence. Stay the fuck out of my yard. Andre wants this. I can't give it to him, though. He needs to bring those to the back. I need to fix the X Club. This is perfect keep the raccoons out all right so I'm looking for a piece of wood stay focused yeah, I'm looking for a piece of wood piece of wood come on call out to me mm -hmm. here we go Maybe something in here this is too wide this is all too wide it's all too wide I don't know. I'm gonna run this up with Andre. I'm hoping my landlord's son will come. He'll have it done in four hours. It'd be great. It'd be, and that brush that I showed you, that brush, it would be perfect to wash when that time comes. can't think that far ahead, right? Mm, it's so cold. Just waiting for the weather to warm up. I'm gonna bring Amari out. He's gonna be a little sun bunny this year. Uh, there's a hornet's nest over here. I've been asking my son to bust it up. I'm afraid to go over there because those bastards, those little hornets, they do. They run around still, even when it's cold. And if I get stung by hornets, I can die, people. I can fucking die. What is this? Who did this? Like seriously, who did this? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm afraid. Because I can't see them like I used to, right? Is it one sting? Yeah, okay. But if I get stung like multiple times, that's it. I'm hooped. This, I asked my son just, you know, last year. And he didn't, I don't think they're out. I told him, don't forget about the horns. You know, shake it and bust them up, right? Before they they start breeding again. Okay, here. I'm afraid to go over here, though. I don't want to get stung. Okay. That's not... You can hear them sometimes. I'd have to dress up really... Really, uh, I, I, I'll deal with that soon. I'm gonna keep this for Lamb A. She can play with it outside. All right, well, the first one I seen was the first one that was the right measurement, so go with what you have. And I have that. You don't always get what you want. Be grateful for what you do get. Isn't that how it's supposed to go? Sometimes. I wonder if somebody took the word where Andre put that picture. See, that ugly looking container with all their garbage cans in front. Now that isn't a classy business. I don't know what is. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my lord. Uh, let's see, what's going on? 
can't really see it. Hmm. Where can we put it where people can actually see it? There, here we go. I don't want this glass to get broken. So what was wrong with this picture? It has a little rip in it. It's always had a little rip in it ever since I owned it. Look how nice this is. It's on velvet. If it really bothered you, you could repair it. Never bothered me though. I like the picture. I just didn't really have no place to put it. So I've been waiting to move. Put it up in my new place after I moved. Yeah. As they're throwing out my shit, because you know it won't stop. Not unless the cops are called. Something something drastic is going to have to happen. Right? And even then, like I said, I told Andre, yeah, if worst case, worst case fucking scenario, I will. I'll take the kids to a fucking shelter. And I won't come back until they're gone. Yeah. If it was my mother, she'd go down there, throw everything out. Fucking set on fucking fire in the middle of the driveway. She did that one time with one of her, I don't know if it was her husband or something, something like that. <laughs> I'm like, holy crumb, I would never do that. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm going with what God gave me with it. Okay, like the good old days, a leaky boat is better than no boat. I was off just a tad, but it, I don't know. Anyway. It's not quite flush yet. All right. I have to get my hat and my jacket, and I really should find some. Oh my god. We're gonna find some, uh, what is it called? Gloves. There's a two by four little board here. Okay, I'm done. It works. I don't feel like I'm falling through a hole. It's a little warp, but it will, it will, it's swelled, right? So as the weather dries, it will dry and it will flatten. And it actually might end up working out to be really good. So now I can get the bench, put the bench here. I'm bringing out the fish tank and we're gonna make a bug farm with the kids, right? Well, I'm man Kyrie. And, uh, what do you call it? Isn't this just lovely? Hmm? What do you think? Who cares if it gets ruined? Gee. Ooh, I hope I didn't break those. Oh, well. And then there's this little... The light actually works in it. Okay, so we'll 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 uh, put some plants in there with some water or something, and then maybe I'll bring out the microscope. Malaya may can look in the microscope. See what I mean? It's just piling up, people. Okay, let me focus. Okay, so I'm rocking. <coughs> Hold on. So I'm in here now. Okay, I gotta do this. It was a good idea. It didn't work though. All right. But before I put it on the road and give it to somebody, I'm going to let the kids have a bug farm. Right? Easy enough to make a lid on that with screen so that nothing can curl out after the fact. And they can look at it all summer long, being that they come here quite often. And, uh, yeah. So, and if, as you can see, these little tomato plants need to be transplanted, which hopefully I may be able to do by tonight. And I got my nerves. And I'll put them right there. As a matter of fact, I need to get into the, into the uh, X Club and see if, uh, <coughs> look at this thing. It's just getting bigger and bigger. Every time I come in, like it grows like, it is gonna get massive pretty soon. We're gonna be eating all of Vera soon. I'm telling, look at these. That's the red onion. I was outside there 
I'm, uh, fucking, I don't know, a bug flew into my, into my throat or something, or, or maybe something that fell from that roof. Anyway, I did transplant some of them, you can see. They're all happy little campers. Right? Just some tomato that came from the grocery store. Uh, I had some seeds or something. I just, uh, I'm going to try and transplant these ones tonight. And then put them there. Okay? And this here, burning for nothing. But I can raise it up. It will be nice. Right? Uh, hold on. Alright, so fish tank is out. Uh, Alright. Now I'll get some planter pots. It's already starting to smell like tomatoes in here. <laughs> and we'll work on getting these guys in their own little pots and we'll put them down there. And then, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. There's only so much room in here. But... Okay, do you see? Here is one of these things. But I just dropped it, so I don't know. But remember I said I wanted to do that? And take it to exposure and see if, see if, see if uh, exposure can... This is, I think this is plastic. It's, I don't know. Very thin metal. It's a metal of some kind. Right? And then, got this one. VCR. If I was to open up that VCR, you would see a processing board, aka mud boards. Yep. But I don't know. I don't know if exposure can go through metal. Right? What do you think? Do you think it can? It would be very interesting to see if it does. In light of what's going on in the world, you can turn it upside down. When I'm out here working, because you know I have to, I have to, people. I gotta try and stop the leaks, right? Um, I'll t open it up, and then I'll show you the little parts in it, the little fuses, that little curly thing, the little uh, conductors, just everything. You'll see, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the corner of British Columbia, Canada, and that motherboard in her hair. So, I'm not going to worry about this too much, because I'm actually supposed to be doing laundry. Now, keep in mind, I have a laundry room that I never use. No. But I, I do need to get into there, so hold on. Another thing that leaks... <laughs> Always leaks, ever since I moved in. When I first came in here um, a week and a half ago, or whatever it was, and then toss around because these animals they get up and through here, right? Remember I told you I need those uh um because those those baseboards used to be in the garage, but he's not only chucking shit out from the basement, he's chucking shit out from the garage. Right? So I'm gonna use those baseboards because the uh, that's how the uh, raccoons getting if if, if you know, oh my god, I hate it when a raccoon has a baby in here. It terrorize everything. You know, I have to come in with a freaking stick. You know, I don't, I think Matilda is back to where she was in the front in that shed. But with raccoons, you never really know, you know. And once they move in, you're stuck with them for a few months, right? Until their babies are ready to leave, leave the nest. You know, I, I came in here, how many years ago, I'm poking around. And their, their growls are scary. <laughs> right? So before I start poking around in here too much, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, nothing's growling back at me. I don't want to get bit. This stupid shit could be underneath there. Oh, I know. They like to hide. You know. Anyway, I'm working on plants. Build it. I've never started plants inside the house. This year, I'm trying to do at least a few. Right, because I don't want to pay by, you know, for what it for what it's worth. But I need I need a tray that doesn't leak. I think I know where there is, but I have to go get it, and I don't. Oh my lord! Do you see the work? I have to do the repairs, people. I'm always repairing. It's still leaking every year. That's all it does. Animals get in here and they knock shit down. 
And if they're not knocking it down, it's my son throwing it around. I just have to make sure there's nothing in here. I'm looking for a tray that doesn't leak. I had the fish tank up in here because they <coughs> got rid of it from outside. Uh, so far these are somewhat dry. Of course, this summer I'll bring everything out and who knows. Depends on what, yeah, see, wet. Oh, this is, oh my lord. Always work, it's all that ever is, work, work, work. Always wet. I don't know how to fix it. I've tried so many times to try and fucking fix it. Anyway, let me look for a tray. Do you know how cruel this is? <coughs> I'm touching things in here. Trying to keep things from getting wet. This is all sopping wet, people. Sopping wet. Fucking sopping wet. I tried. I, I so tried. I so fucking tried and nothing works. Nope. The water is coming out on my head. This is pathetic. But once you clean it out, bleach what you need to bleach and do what you gotta do. It's pretty nice. Even if it's just for a little while. Like half a year. Got these. these are nice, but that's not what I'm looking for. Look at this. A sopping, sopping, soaking wet brand new box of fucking jars. Do you see the water? Do you see this? And my son wants to trash my life even more and make it harder for me, as if it's not hard enough as it is. Take those out. The lids may or may not be good anymore, right? Water makes rust. Brand new case, never been opened. <clears throat> I thought it was safe in this corner. Obviously not. Just wasn't. I have to get in here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This is a... Uh, this is somewhat wet. Oh my god, people. Just to show you... Just to show you... Where am I? Do you see this? Can you get that? Do you think that's fair? Huh? These all have holes in them. Hmm. That's not what I'm looking for. Maybe they were downstairs. And if they were downstairs, who knows what's gonna happen? Who fucking knows? Yeah, these all have holes in them. I don't want that. I paid a lot of money for these things. Maybe that's the one with no holes. No, it has holes too. I know I have some with no holes. I don't know where they are though. That's not good. This is bad. So, so bad, people, you don't even know. Another sopping, fucking, soaking box of china. There's china wearing there. Where am I? There's china wearing this box. The box is soaking fucking wet. Everything used to be nice and dry. Not anymore. I guess I'm supposed to just take this box of china cups and 
I'm trying to teacups and put them on a roll, right? If my son had it his way with that girl, uh, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm looking for a train. Let me see what butt is this. I'm just trying to use what I can use right now. Well, that corner seems to be dry. Here's the other half of that roasting pan that I'm using right now for those other tomato plants. But I will use this and there's these little plastic things to cover it if I want the seeds or whatever. I don't want that right now, but I will take this. I need something to catch the water, right? When I'm watering the plants. This, this is the lid. I've been looking for this for so long. <laughs> I love this roasting pan. This is a nice roasting pan. Right now it's being used for something else. Yeah. No, that corner is dry. I only have one corner in this whole thing that's actually dry. All right, that's all I need is the one for now. We're just working with tomato plants for now. Amazingly, what is this? Kid stuff. It's all these kid shit. Painting or something. Yeah, this is for painting. I have painting easels here. I'm going to paint with the kids this year on the porch. Yep. Before somebody comes along and starts chucking out that. I have all the temper paints, everything in my bedroom. Plus, I ha I should have a, a whole blue, heavy, big, full of art supplies with big children's painting, all kinds of acrylic paints, everything. It's in, it it should be in Tisha's room, people. It should be. If it's not, then that means somebody stole it. talking hundreds of dollars of worth of paints and shit that I've had for years. I haven't seen it. I've been kind of looking for it as I'm going about my days when I'm down there. I haven't seen it yet. But it could be tucked off to the side. Right? Sopping, soaking, fucking gross. This is my extension cord for mowing the lawn. about it. I've already been through this, I don't even know how many times. Andre's getting older. He will help to do the wood repairs. I don't know what to do about this damn leaky roof. I just, I just don't know. And I'm not strong enough to hold up a piece of wood and screw it in because I'm, I'm almost tempted to do that and hope that the water runs this way. Yeah. I just put a piece of plywood up on top and screw it in. Nothing, nothing heavy, right? Just something so that the water, when it rains, it just kind of goes like this, right? And at least this little area is dry, but that's hard. Okay, I have my keys here. Um, we got this. That'll work. It looks like there's a hole in it got a handle on it so maybe this might not work it might leak I don't think so it's okay for now it's better than nothing right plus I was looking for the lid this is the tray for the easel and stuff oh I could use this let's take that just in case right. 
definitely take out these jars. Jars are selling like $25 a fucking case. These these are wide mouth jars. Bernard, they're selling $25 a case. Two, 500, no. These, and I, I'm getting ruined, man. My wife, all the time, getting fucking ruined. Yeah. When you go into my videos, after I get them all into my playlist, this is how it has, was when I moved in, man. Yeah, uh, some years is better than other years. Obviously, this year's worse. Right? But that's okay. I'll have it figured out in a couple of weeks. As they're going to be throwing out more because I ain't going down there right now. No, nope. I'm just going to avoid it for a little while and focus on what I need to focus on. As they're throwing my sh shit out, I'm trying to salvage what I can. Right? At least a little bit. <coughs> I think I breathed in a bug off of, from that porch when I was out there doing that fish tank. There we go. I wonder. <laughs> um. I'm wondering about these lids. Well, every day, a little, a little, a little bit every day. I'll have it done in a week, cleared out, and then, and then, uh, <coughs> hopefully the weather will start getting a little warmer. Uh, bring a Mario site, right? Then we're gonna work on raccoon cat proofing it clean everything. I'll find the microscopes. I'll get them all handy. All right. Well, Andre and Alea May, when she comes, they can go outside and I'll tell them what to get for that fish tank to start building in a bug, a, a bug farm, I guess. And we have to make a, we have to make a lid too. Okay. I don't know. So far they seem to be okay. So if I wash everything today and let them dry, chances are I can still use them because they're brand new. The box is toast though. It's no good. Okay, so I'm going to go lock that up. <coughs> Just put a couple more things in there temporarily for now. I'm going to lock it up. I'll try and work on it every day for an hour, half an hour. Or every second day, right? As I'm doing other things as well, right? That girl, when she came up, oh, people, she was there to antagonize me. She wanted to speak to Andre. You heard me. I said no. And when he was out, she looked at him and she whispered, I'm sorry. You're throwing out uh, What's that car called? What? That little McQueen? Wiggy McQueen? Who? Wiggy McQueen? What was that car on that paper? Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Throwing out Lightning McQueen wrapping paper. It came from his mom and his auntie Shemaine when they were actually alive and have been in this house since Andre's been like two. With Spider-Man, she had no right to throw that out. And then come back and say, I'm sorry, Andre. Whisper. What's coming next, I'd like to know. As you know, it's... 
Apparently my son is oblivious to all this. He's unaware. Do you honestly believe that? I don't, people. No. She just didn't up and move all that shit by herself. She's lying. And then just start throwing it out because she thinks what? It's broken? Yeah, well, I'm just finishing up. Do, do you know how, how much money I spend on bucket lids and buckets? I have a few buckets kicking around that, you know, I have to come across the right lid before, right? <laughs> like, seriously, man. Like, why? Anything to antagonize. Oh. Well, what are you going to do with this? Now that you have it, just put it in the playroom and save it for a day. And, uh, maybe you wanna, I don't know, maybe you'll give Jude something. Before you give it to him, you can wrap it up with Lightning McQueen. Why not? Jude would think that would be funny. <laughs> right? Or you can have Spider Man. Spider Man. I probably have pictures at Christmas time with Andre ripping out his presents with his mom and Auntie Shimei and Tisha with his presents wrapped up with this stuff. Yeah. Andre would have been one. One. Because they took him at 28 months old. So, no, he would have been two. He would have been two years old. He was born in September. September yeah, this is December. And that's probably when it came. Or your birthday. It was either for your birthday or for Christmas. Between age one and age two. Anyway, I'll fix that up. I'll make it nice. And I'll put it away, and yeah. then if you ever want it, you know where, yeah. where it will be. Right there. Thanks. Yeah.